When I was younger, my mom used to tell me to say the ABCs before I spoke because I was so sharp with my tongue. I saw Dave. He came to the lake. <laughs> oh man, did I want to see his truck driving down that dirt road so bad for so many days. After a long string of texts of, I miss you, I'll defend you. I really thought that him showing up was gonna be like this beautiful reconciliation and this guy was gonna stand by my side and it just felt like, wow, he really does love me. He's gonna be my family, you know? But when he got there, it was a little bit different than I expected. And as we started talking, he told me that he told his sister that he still really liked me. And I said, you really like me? Or you don't love me anymore? And he shook his head no. Full moon. He's jumping my car. <laughs> That's how we first decided to hang out with each other because I asked him for a jump. So this is fitting. Now we're saying goodbye. Oh, I got mascara everywhere. I'm just gonna die right now. A lot of people would say like what you did Morgan was just words they're just words like you guys can work through this you guys can get past this but the thing is when your words shoot to kill you should expect that person to be dead so lesson learned it'll be a cold day in hell before you see me chase a man and fight for a man that doesn't love me anymore. The moon started to rise over the lake as we were talking and working our way through this mess and I hugged him so hard and I breathed all of him in as much as I could and I cried and he cried which was very confusing and I packed up my stuff and I left. I left the lake, I left the spot that I met that man. I'm grateful for him, I'm grateful for everything that happened when I was with him. He taught me a selfless love that I've never known before. It was so incredibly fun to make that man happy that like, I encouraged him to play video games. When he wanted to sleep in, I'd pull the curtains down and black out the room and shut the door. And I loved cooking for him. I loved demanding nothing. I loved protecting him. A lot of people like to assume that I was using this guy for his money and his house and all these things. And like, they have no idea. He'd ask me if I wanted to go out to dinner and I'd say, no, like save your money. I loved being a good woman for him. And I made some mistakes and I said some things that I don't mean and I will live with that forever. But I never knew, I, I've always been like demanding in my relationships, you know? What have you done for me lately? And with him, it was just like, I just wanted to make him happy every single day that I woke up. And now I know, like in my future relationships, relationship, who knows what the cards hold for me, that it's so much more fun to not be demanding in your relationship, to just love, to just love someone, to love them wholly, entirely, completely, to want nothing from them, nothing but their smile and their laugh and their hugs and kisses. I just wanted to make him happy. 
and it was really fun. So now we move on. Thank you.